Hey, what is going on? It's Social Media Live Friday, a little later in the day today. Um, I know what you're thinking. You're saying to yourself, Phil, last week you said you're changing the name. Um, we are, but we have so many listings right now, we haven't had time to think because we've been with clients over and over and over again, buyers over and over and over again. So we've been focused on that. But here's the deal, Social Media Live Friday must continue because we love it. So here's what I wanna talk about today. It's something I love talking about. It is so very important. It's brand. Uh, after being with a bunch of clients this week and after uh, spending a lot of time with even other real estate agents, uh, it's become more and more important uh, or prevalent to me at least uh, that brand matters so much. When we talk about what we do and how we do it, that's awesome, that's great. But I think there tends to be in business, uh, as you get busier, um, less focus on the perception that uh, other people have of your brand. Because as business owners, we all want to get out there and we all want to prove ourselves and really do great things and grow and grow and become successful. It's really, really important to understand that to me at least, the biggest part of your success comes not just from your hustle, but from your brand. Not just from your work ethic, but from your brand. Not just from the hours you're willing to put in, the efforts you're willing to commit to, but from your brand. So today, I wanna to go over something. In fact, I just wrote this article for Chesapeake Real Producers Magazine, so we're gonna dive into brand in the next issue that comes out. But um, I wanna to talk today about uh, five things here. It's, it's actually, it's not mine. It's from one of my mentors in marketing. His name's Jason Pantana. Um, I included this in here because he built this neat little thing out uh, for brand. So brand starts with B and B is going to stand for benefits. If you're a business owner right now, you should be watching closely because there's always time to grow and develop your brand. And as competition comes in, it is very important that you focus on making your brand stronger, making your brand more well known the way you want people to see your brand as opposed to the way people might currently see your brand. So that, that takes consistent effort, that takes checks and balances, that takes making sure that you go over and over and over all throughout the year what your brand is to you and what your brand is to your potential client base. So B stands for benefits, the advantages of hiring you. That's what the B in brand is gonna stand for for us. What is the advantage to hiring you that's the first question, but the question you need to ask relative to your brand is what do you believe, if any, your potential client base sees the advantages are of hiring you? This is a really important thing because there's two sides of this whenever you're thinking brand. What Phil thinks, what other people really think. Because your brand inside the walls might be one thing, but outside the walls it's not. And guess what? Your clients are out there, so it is really, really important that you think about the way they see you too. So the B is gonna stand for benefits, the advantages of hiring you. The R in brand is gonna stand for the perception of your conduct slash performance in the marketplace. The R stands for record. Record, the perception of your conduct slash performance in the marketplace. Guys, you gotta think about this. You gotta ask yourself, you know, we're talking about how does other people see you, but are you celebrating? Because your performance is important. And as you're winning and as you're succeeding and as your business is growing, how do you celebrate? How do you share that out in public with other people? As you're, de you're deciding what you're gonna do to build your business, as you reach certain milestones, it is vitally important that you share those wins with other people. But here's the one that most people don't pay attention to. It's the conduct part. It's the times you go out to dinner, maybe you go out in your town to the popular restaurant, do you have a couple too many to drink? Are you doing things that maybe you wouldn't do if you were in a suit or on the job or whatever the case is or giving a sales pitch? Are you that same person? So make sure your brand is consistent no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, keep the brand consistent. That's the R. Attitude, A for attitude, B-R-A for attitude. So we have benefits, we have record, A for attitude. The sentiment behind how you do business. If you've seen our recent commercial we put out, 
um, called Real Estate Done Right. Uh, you, you got to know us. You got to know uh, the team, how we work and what we think. And you got to truly see that being authentic, empathetic, and vulnerable, coming from a place of serving, really is the meat of how we do everything. It's what we root our brand in and our culture in. So what is your attitude? What's the sentiment behind how you do your business? What drives you in your business? Not like what's your motivator, but what's the true root of your business? What is the culture? Why are you pushing forward the way you're pushing forward? That's A, attitude, N, B-R-A-N, niches, specialized skill sets and subject matter expertise. So if you ask me, Phil, what's your niche in real estate? Well, it's first residential. Yes, we do some commercial, but our niche really sits in residential real estate. But then I break it down, right? The, the number one thing we are incredible at is marketing. In my... <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and pull it out and just hold it. There we go. So guys, what you don't know right now is the gimbal just died on us. So that's why it went absolutely crazy. But what you don't know is that um, our, behind the scenes, you know, you have me that you see a lot of, but you, and you hear me talk about Arabella on the marketing side, but we also have on the op side, Victoria and Kelk. So you've got this group of people on top of that, you've got what, 13, 14 agents all focused on marketing. And we market in a very specific way. You know, we get a listing, we don't just cross our fingers, list and leave. We build an entire marketing plan for our listings. So that's really important. But at the same time, the results, right? That record, the results matter. Last year, the average home sold in 86 days. Our average home sold in 21. Last year, the average home sold for 97.1% of its list price. Our average home sold for 98.48% of its list price. So in our niche, we are great. In fact, I'd say we are dominating. Can you explain your niche that way? Can you in 30 to 60 seconds explain, even with the gimbal dying and the camera flipping upside down, can you explain what your niche is? So we have B, which is benefits, R, which is record, A, which is attitude, N, which is niches. And now it's time for D. <laughs> Excuse me, D. D is the design. The design, the look, the feel, the tone of your business. This goes in so many different ways. What I wanna hit you with is one, the flat out visual design of your business. Is everything you're doing congruent with one mission, one plan, one focus? That's what we need to look at. So when you're putting out letterhead, does that fit uh, what you put out on social media as far as the design, the literal design of logos and things of that nature? But not just the look, feel, and tone of the things that you're putting out digitally and, and with print, but the look, feel, and tone of you. Are you living up to what you hope people see? Because that's design, right? Are you the person who you're, you're maybe you're starting a finance company. Well, listen, I mean, I love sweats. I love being comfortable, but maybe every day being in sweats, going to meetings in sweats, that's not exactly the look you want to give, the design you want to give to speak to your brand. Because guess what? Your brand, while we do all these things, the truth is your brand is decide, decided by your clients and your potential clients. That's who's ultimately deciding your brand. All we do is help form as much of that decision as possible. So think about the look, the feel, and the tone of your actual business. Make sure that everybody that's a part of your business is on the same wavelength and they understand it and they get behind it and they're a driving force for it. Think about these things. Think about your brand. Think about the benefits, the advantages of hiring you. Think about your record, the perception of your conduct and performance in the marketplace. Think about your attitude, the sentiment behind how you do business. Think about the niches, the specialized skill sets and subject matter expertise of you. And think about design, the look, the feel, and the tone of your business. That's it. This is Social Media Live Friday, soon to be renamed, blah, 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 we don't know. Um, but I'm having fun. It is a great day. Tonight, I'm headed to the, um, the, the what is it, the fundraiser for the Cystic Fibrosis, Fibrosis Foundation, Cystic Fibrosis Foundation here in Annapolis uh, with the Sermonaros and everybody that's going to be there. Very excited about it. But 
What I want you to do is have a fantastic Friday. Enjoy your evening and let's make it a great one. I hope this helps. Share it, love it, like it, do everything. That's it. Bye.